So now we're going to do a little exercise. And let's say we wanted to build a website where we, uh, you know, rent movies. And so like Google Play or Amazon, right, they, they can stream movies to you. So you go in, you find a movie that you like, and you say, I want to rent that. And they ask you, do you want uh, HD or do you want this or that? And you buy it and you have it for two days. Hi, come on in, grab a seat. I see you. So the first thing that we want to do is we've got some things that we got to keep track of. And the things that we need to keep track of, one of the things is like who are our customers? And so we start thinking about our data and grouping it together. So here we have customers. And, uh, and then we're also going to have movies. All right? And, uh, and then we're, we'll have rentals. And so these would be like three categories for grouping our data together. And so the first one we want to capture, this is like the first thing you do is you start to group data. What's my, what's my data that's related together? Right? So what would be, you know, that, those are kind of good groupings for renting movies, right? What would, be, uh, what would be some of the information we might want to capture about customers? Yeah, so we might want name. Address, maybe phone number, maybe credit card number. Anybody see any way we could improve this, what we're capturing here? Email. Okay, yeah, email. So one of the ways we could re re improve this is here we just have name. So could there be more than one John Smith? Yeah. Um, and we'll get to how we saw that in a second. But what if we would just want to start a letter, Dear John or Dear Susie, but we've stored John Smith. Now we're going to have to figure out how to go through and parse our data. Well, let's parse it on the space. You know, for the first chunk of text, and then we have a space, and then we have the last chunk of text. And that first chunk's first name, you know, it's like, oh, we got to do all this processing. And what about Mary Lou? Ah, we just sent her a letter and it said, Dear Mary, and her name's Mary Lou, because we parsed on space. So we want to store first name and last name as separate fields in the database. And then we need to be able to distinguish between two John Smiths, or three John Smiths. They have the same first and last name. And so we'll add a unique ID to the field, and that will uniquely identify them. So that's like the first step, or grouping related data. How many people, you know this already? Cool, how many people, this is new to you? Cool, how many people like, I'm totally getting this. Put it up, let me see, because this is how I judge like how we're doing. How many people, it's like, eh, medium on it. <laughs> okay, how many people are not sure what I'm talking about? Any of those? All right. So the idea is to group related data. You have all this data that you have to store and you have to group it. Like I totally remember when I was a kid, I just graduated high school and then I went to like this thing where you could make all kinds of money, $20,000 a month selling water filters, and it was multi-level marketing, and I sign up, and I sign up all my friends, and all my friends sign up all their friends, and then like I get a percentage of it. So I got involved in that, and I was gonna make $20,000 a month, and I need to keep track of stuff, and then I had index cards and little boxes. And it like flummoxed my mind, like, ah, oh, how do I keep track of who I called, when I called them, you know, what boxes to, you know, it's like the old way of trying to store data. And it was hard for me to try to get that at first. So if you're just coming to this and it's like, ah, oh, I'm not sure what's happening when you see this, right, that's normal. It's a way of thinking and it takes a, a moment to wrap your head around it. But the main takeaway from this first step is group related data. Related, group related data, relational. 
So I want you all to get out a pen and a piece of paper, and I want you to write this down.